Bias and Observer 01 tutorial. Let's take a look at the different parts of the window. First we have the top bar. This is where you can select a preset, save your preset, upload samples, and create a new pattern. Second, we have the field of view, where the majority of the action is. This is where the patterns come to life. It is also where the selecting of points and geometries occurs. Third, below the field of view lies the toolbar. This is where you select the tool you want to engage. It is also where you add geometries and points from, as well as delete them. And finally, to the right of all three of these, we have the menu. Here you can edit geometries, points, and collisions. Now we select a preset. In this tutorial, we are going to explore how you can build something similar. In order to create a blank pattern, click the New Pattern button in the top bar. This will remove all geometries, points, and samples from the sample bank. Once cleared, we can click the Add Geometries tool from the toolbar and select the shape that you want. We will then click the Add Point tool, and we will add a satellite point. This is a stationary point that doesn't move and lives on the outside of the geometries. Now that we have our geometry and satellite point in the field of view, let's upload some samples to the pattern sample bank. We can do this two ways by clicking the Upload Samples button on the top bar, or by dragging and dropping the files from your computer's file management system. You can navigate and upload the specific samples you like, or you can select an entire folder to upload to the sample bank. Next, let's select one of our points and load a sample onto it by clicking the Sample drop-down bar in the Points menu. When you click on this drop-down, all the samples we just uploaded to the audio pool will appear. The next step to actually get sound to engage is to select the collision tool. Once selected, any points with samples loaded will gray out. We will then select our loaded point and then select whichever points we want to trigger its sound. Now, when we click play, the sample hosted on our point will play every time it crosses the trigger point. We can add collisions to the other points of the geometry and that will create a quarter note pattern. We can slow down or speed up the geometry in the geometry editor menu. You can open this menu by clicking on the geometry you want to edit. We can also add a new geometry. Then we can add samples to each of these points on the geometry. Then we can add collisions to these points, but this time there will be collisions with points on the other geometry and the satellite point. Now that we have a pattern created, let's add some effects. We can click on any given point and this will open the point editor menu. Let's change the pitch on a few of the samples. We can do this by holding shift and clicking multiple points. This will allow us to change the properties of multiple points at once. We can change the sample's length, pitch, gain, chance, fade in and out, re-trigger, 
pan, and playback direction in the point editor menu. Then we'll add some retrigger to one of the samples. This acts a lot like a delay, except you are choosing exactly how many repeats of the sounds occur. You can also choose the time between triggers, the change in pitch with each repeat, and the change in gain. We can also add pan to a few samples. There are three different pan types, regular, hold, and follow. With regular, the pan value is exactly what is displayed on the slider. With hold, the pan will be where the collision occurs, and the slider represents the maximum width amount. With follow, the pan will be where the collision occurs, but the pan will follow the point as it moves. And the slider also represents the maximum width amount. Now we can look into the collision editor menu. Not only can you edit the effects of a single point, you can edit the effects of a single collision. When you click on a point and scroll to the bottom of the point editor menu, there is a list of all the collisions that this point is a part of, either as the point being triggered or the point that triggers the collision. When you hover over the name of the point in the point editor menu, it will highlight the point in the field of view. Once you click on the name, it will show a dropdown that is identical to the point editor but it will only change the effects for this single collision. This ability will allow you to really bring your work to life, creating deep and unique patterns with many different collisions, triggers, effects, and sounds. Available now at ISN.com.